Hi everyone and welcome to this quick look at the Titanfall beta. That's right, been having a grand old time in here. I'm terrible at it, I'm no good. I'm sure you guys are great at it, but I tell you one thing, it is a ton of fun. And look, if you're on the Xbox One, then you should hopefully already know that this is open to you right now. You don't have to have been accepted into the beta. So once again, if you've got an Xbox One, go and take a look at your dashboard, go into the game demos area and you will have access to Titanfall or if you don't it will be there very very soon they've also made a promise that they're going to open this up to PC as well without a key so if you are a PC owner only you don't have an Xbox one and you're wanting to have a crack at this then stay tuned for more information from respawn entertainment because hopefully they're going to open this up to absolutely everyone just like the Xbox one version so fingers crossed that you get to have a crack at it I've got to say folks it is absolutely fantastic loving this game like I said terrible at it but what I like about it is that it's really mixing it up it's not Call of Duty it is not Battlefield 1942 to me it's more of a cross of your old school twitch shooters like Quake especially Quake 3 Unreal Tournament those sort of games mixed with a bit of Tribes 2 which I'm a huge fan of and of course all your standard Call of Duty and Battlefield 4 tropes as well it is fast paced yes it's only 6v6 but it is frantic I would definitely not want it any more than six versus six or else it would be an absolute nightmare to play because it would just be too crowded in my opinion i'm a massive fan of what i call corridor shooters i like it tight and i like it twitchy and this is right up my alley i like the fact also that it's kind of rock paper scissors there's a bit of lol going on especially with the minions and you'll see that shortly plus of course there's a lot of strategy in terms of you know what do you do when you're in a titan versus what do you do when you're running around as a pilot what i thought i would do is not show you guys absolutely Absolutely everything because I'm sure that you've watched a whole bunch of videos from other players who can really play this game well thought I'd just quickly take you through a couple of the menu items and actually run through the training because I don't know I haven't seen a lot of people posting the training on this and tell you what the training in this is what sold me I really thought it was done well and I was speaking to Tallahassee and yes we've been both playing the guts out of this and we both agreed that the training really set the tone for the rest of the game and taught you everything that you need to know now are there loadouts yes there are loadouts and you can see I've got three custom ones here you can choose your primary weapon you unlock more as you go obviously you've also got an anti-titan weapon here primary weapons are more for infantry or your pilots if you like the anti-titan weapon is exactly that it's a weapon designed specifically to take down or damage titans you've got a sidearm slot there you can see I haven't really got too much unlocked here as yet and we've got a tactical ability as well I'm going for a cloak I like to be able to cloak up and go invisible you've got ordinance here which is basically your grenade then you've got these kits and these are kind of like I don't know kill streak rewards that you can permanently have on your character and for example here I've got enhanced parkour I've got to say I absolutely adore the parkour the wall running the building leaping whatever you want to call it in this game it is silky smooth and seamless and I like to enhance that with this kit here my tier 2 kit I've got a dome shield battery and that basically means that my little titan is shielded for a lot longer when he drops down so i really like that of course you can also swap your gender now you've got three custom loadouts at the moment i'm going an smg as my primary weapon you do start with this carbine it, there's nothing wrong with the carbine although i just prefer the smg because actually it's got a less cluttered hud and a less cluttered iron sight so i tend to be able to aim down the sights a lot easier and faster with this smg the smart pistol well you'll see that shortly we're going to go through that in the training that is a really really cool gun needless to say the weapons in this game are fantastic and they're slightly futuristic but it's really really cool now you've also got titan loadouts now they've only got the atlas open for the beta but already you can set out three well i've got unlocked three titan loadouts i'm sure as i level up i'm going to get more but basically you've got a chain gun a 40 mil cannon or a quad rocket and that again is something you can change later on especially in the full release and i kind of like all three of these they're all a little bit situational but it does depend on your playing style in the game you've got a whole bunch of stats obviously you can go nuts on this all of the stats till the cows come home really really well done and you can also have these things called burn cards which are really neat they're like 
I don't know, it's hard to describe. They're like a card that you get that is a one-time use and gives you a bit of a bonus and you earn them throughout the game. Yet another idea for customizing your ride, I guess, your ride through the game. You've got these things called challenges. These are basically achievements and there's some really, really cool named ones in here. Like for example, this one here, the Gooser kill a pilot who is ejecting five times. So there you go, 10 internet points. If you can tell me the name of the movie that that is based on and pretty much everything in here is kind of like that. There's a bit of tongue in cheek going on but there are tons and tons and tons of challenges aka achievements and they're really easy to get and they're achievable and you really feel like you're getting rewarded quite quickly. Now this is all based in Origin by the way so if you don't have an Origin account you won't be able to play the game so I do recommend that you go and sign that up but yeah if you're on PC be prepared for an open beta to drop any minute now. Anyway enough with the intro let's get on with this let's go straight into the training you can see I've already done it do you want to do it again yes and I want to do the full training here because I do want to show you guys like I said what this training is like it really got me pumped for the game and it taught me all of the little nuances if you like that make this so much different to your standard Call of Duty corridor shooter this is really really well done drag me into this idea of the game where it's coming from the space it occupies and got me pumped for playing the game so let's just hope that it does the same for you like I say nobody seems to be posting this part of the game we'll definitely get some gameplay of me playing really badly later but for now here is the tutorial this unit is authorized for military use only possession by an individual is a class one felony and there we go you can see I am in the corner of my dorm room my bunk if you like and I'm stuck inside this well it's like a training sim dome or device I don't know but we can start it up and that's exactly what we want to do welcome to the Hammond pilot certification simulator warning unregistered user detected key accepted training pod is authorized welcome pilot to calibrate the AR display, please look at each of the red lights. Would you like to reverse the vertical look input? So there we go, obviously taking its cue from Halo 1. I don't mind that at all, and of course, no, I don't want to reverse that. Thank you very much, I'm not inverted. Visual calibration complete. Simulator initializing. You are free to move around the simulation. Please walk through the tunnel in front of you. All right, so here we go. And you can see straight away it's very slick, very smooth. Although, because I'm running Fraps and I've got it capped at 30 frames per second, just because it's a little bit jerky than what I'm used to. Continue. To. Walk through the tunnel. Thank you. Yes, I'm sure he's going to prompt me over and over again. But it is a full 60 frames per second game on my machine anyway. It is silky smooth. Aim down the sights. One thing I did notice is that I don't have any legs. So to continue, um, walk through the tunnel. Yes, we're going to piss this guy off, I can tell. Interesting, because in Battlefield 1942, if I look down, I see my legs. Here, if I hit C, I've got a melee, and that is a leg. But it kind of appears out of nowhere. And to if continue, I... continue, walk through the tunnel. Even if I look straight up, we get the leg. So that's a bit silly. It's about the only complaint... I've got, plus I don't know if you notice there, but halfway through the animation is some weird knee to continue. Walk through the disjointed tunnel. thing, I don't know, not sure. Now by the way, when you first play the game and the default settings kick in, you, oh look at that, it's actually going to throw me out, it's funny. You have this thing where when you right click on your mouse, it actually stays there, it's weird. You've got to go into the options, in fact I'll show you where it is, here we go, options. You go into the mouse and keyboard settings, you go to the key to bindings continue. and you'll notice that mouse 2 is actually set to toggle aim modifier. You need to clear that and set it to aim modifier and that means it'll only appear when you hold down the mouse button if that's what you to used continue. to like me shift the is run space is jump sprint through the tunnel yes sprinting through the tunnel jump over the obstacle for greater distance jump while sprinting there we go Jump toward the edge of a surface to pull yourself up. Nicely done. Thank you. Nicely done. There we go. So there's mantling in this game. 
And this is the favorite bit of mine, wall running or parkour. As a pilot, your most important piece of gear is your jump kit, which allows you to run on walls. Wall run across the gap to proceed. Basically, if you have played, well, let me see, Mirror's Edge, it's exactly the same as that. So you basically sprint and then jump at an angle towards the wall. And obviously we're gonna go for where those arrows are. That will start us wall running. And we hold, obviously, run to run along the wall. So here we go. Easy. Now we've got to do the same thing. And of course you can jump off to exit a little bit earlier as well, which we'll do this time. You jump. Wall runs can be chained together to travel farther. Try jumping from one wall run directly into another. All right, you heard the man. We can chain these and this is fantastic. Jump, jump, jump. Ooh. And I fell in. Wall run, <laughs> then jump off the wall towards the ledge. All right. This will give you enough height to mantle onto the ledge. All right, well so there done. you go. Nice and easy. Let's do that again in case you missed what I was doing there. Run and then jump and then mantle. Nice and easy. It's very, very smooth. Use sprinting, jumping and wall running to make your way to the exit. There we go. Now you can see we're out of the training area a little bit and you can start to see what the graphics look like in the game. By the way, they're not Battlefield 4 quality, but they are serviceable, silky smooth and looks fantastic. The art direction is something that I really, really enjoy. Anyway, let's do this. Running, running without the guides. Oh, that was bad. Oh, so getting a little bit little bit keen we'll go there we go just ran a little bit longer you can see there you can start chaining these together if you really know what you're doing all right let's keep going you got to really look ahead here we go to see where you're Completion going requirements met so you do get used to that look ahead is my advice jump kits extend your natural jumping ability you can jump once more after leaving the ground all right so there we go space space Double jump. To cover even more distance, wait longer before starting the second jump. Double jump and mantle into the hole above to proceed. Pretty basic stuff there, but all of this stuff will definitely help you get around the maps a lot faster, trust me. Use wall running and double jumping to make your way to the exit. All right, so again, multiple choices here, and this is what it's like in a real match. It's like, wow, where can you go? So let's see what we can do here. If I run up here, maybe do a bit of a mantle, jump over there, double jump, mantle, and I'm up. Do a bit of a wall run. Oh, just got onto that, Excellent jump out there. Navigational skills pilot. Thank you. Now you can see, well, I don't know if you noticed there, but I gained a lot of acceleration coming off of those ramps over there onto that wall and then wall jumping. And I actually slammed in up here because I got so much momentum going. That's what you want to be doing in the game proper to get around the map really, really quickly. And of course, avoid those pesky titans. Cloaking, making yourself nearly invisible, is essential to pilot survival. To get past the sentries, Cloak first, then move through the area quickly. Here we are heading Q. You can run as well. They won't hear you. They should, but they don't. Well done. Cloaking does not last forever. Look at your cloak meter on the bottom left of your screen to monitor your remaining cloak time. In closed quarters situations, you can kill silently with a melee attack. Get close to the target to melee. All right, so this is the ridiculous foot that we're talking about. If you melee an opponent from behind, you will perform an execution. Meleeing an enemy from the front can be faster, but carries more risk of death. To continue, please pull your weapon. The weapon is empty. Load a fresh magazine. Now this is the smart pistol that I was telling you about. This is one incredible gun. This is the smart pistol an auto-targeting weapon. Get close enough to a valid target and the smart pistol will start locking on. Wait for a full lock before pulling the trigger. Use your smart pistol to neutralize the target. 
Now, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can on the YouTube video, but you do not aim down the sights, you just let it go. And as long as you've got your target inside these brackets, you can have as many as you like, I think up to about six, it will just lock on. You can see there that it's bending that little target and it will basically unload the magazine on all locked targets. Target eliminated. The smart pistol can lock on to more than one target. Eliminate all of the targets with your smart pistol. Now, can you see it moving around there? There we go. And if I get my pointer in the very center of them, it will actually lock onto all four. And if I press fire now, it will unload on all of them. Give them all instant headshot deaths. So here we go. Targets neutralized. I love that. And that was our little jump pack. Some enemies, Double jump. especially pilots, require multiple locks to kill with one trigger pull. Kill the pilot with your smart pistol. And there we go. So for these guys who are a little bit more badass than the ones we've been just fighting, like you said, they require multiple lock-ons. The smart pistol can take care of that as well. Target down. Very, very cool. Switch to your rifle. Destroy all of the targets in the shooting range. All right, we can't jump in there. This is the SMG I was telling you about. It's actually quite a clear iron sight, whereas the other one's got a holographic, the carbine, and not such a big fan of it, to be honest. Nice burst fire that I'm doing here. Throw a grenade into each of the windows. Oh, that was a good start, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, I don't know why, but F is grenade in this game. So, yeah. I guess you can change it to G in the options. Well done. Combat scenario initialized. Destroy all opposition in the area. All right, so here we go. Where is a your nice dropship? Is located in the upper left corner of your AR display. Look for the small dots on your mini map to find all the enemy troops. So you can see here the smart pistol. If you can get close enough, is fantastic, and it will lock on the move as well. And that is awesome. And of course we can pick up these guys. There we go. Pick up these guys' weapons as well. But I just want to go with the smart pistol. Oh, is that the smart For pistol? This certification, death simulation has been disabled. As a pilot, when your view screen tints red, you are close to death. Avoid taking damage for a short time, and your health will restabilize. Once the red tint on your screen fades away, you have fully recovered. Alright, thank you for that. Hopefully this is the smart pistol. Alright. Let's see if we can do a melee. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Complete. Here we go. Combat scenario initialized. Hostile Titanfall imminent. Titans will not take substantial damage from small arms fire. Switch to your anti-Titan weapon. Right, so number three is always your anti-Titan weapon. Destroy and in this case, Titan with your anti-Titan weapon. It's this thing called the Sidewinder, and we've really got to get out of the way here because these Titans are nasty. Oh, you can see I'm getting hammered there already. So throw a grenade at him. Ooh. And look at that, he's going critical. That's what that little bar means, and we'll learn about that Good later. Job. Taking on a Titan is very dangerous, even with the right weaponry. Pilots earn credit towards their next Titan drop by engaging in combat. Once your Titan is built, you can drop your Titan onto the battlefield. To continue, Please initiate Titanfall. 
And you can see here by me badly showing how to get around quickly. Uh, although there's not too many close walls, but you can see that once you start gaining that momentum, you can really fling yourself around these levels. To proceed, please call in your Titan. And it's very rare that you get stuck, like there I am doing some really weird stuff. You still mantle, you keep it relatively smooth. How's that? Oh, nearly. Proceed. Please call in your Titan. Anyway, right, so it's time to call down our Titan. Now this is a really, really cool effect. And I'm just going to go back to my normal gun. There we go. And I lost my smart pistol somewhere along the way. Not sure how or why, but anyway. V, proceed, please yes. call in your Titan. Pay careful attention, by the way, to the sound that they make when Titan fall happens. It is awesome. Here we go. Look to the sky to watch your Titan fall into battle. That is so cool. Your Titan to mount up. So there he is, and depending on the angle that you come from, they do different animations. We'll come from the front. There we are, getting pulled in. Titans are designed to be a natural extension cool of the pilot. Firing your Titan's primary weapon is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. Now, important thing to notice is that a Titan does not have jump. So you cannot jump as a Titan. But boy, do you feel like you are running around in a huge, great big mech. And one-shotting those guys. Now you can stomp on them as well and if you're wondering how I'm sliding around like that basically it's the space bar which allows you to sprint or slide in a direction like that. So it's a lot of forward, backwards, sideways mobility very very quickly but it is limited by those two bars that are regening right now in the center of my HUD. So yeah you can get around really quick. It's great for strafing like this. Excellent. Combat scenario complete. And there we go. I think this is going to teach us about that dash right now. Titans can dash laterally to perform fast directional changes. To proceed, please dash in any direction you like. So again, spacebar and direction. Please dash to the left. Dash to your right. The dash meter is located beneath the crosshair on the Titan cockpit display. Each blue box represents one dash. Dash backwards. Good job. Good job. Please proceed to the exit. Now, I don't know if you can see in the YouTube video, but as I pan around, just have a look at the cockpit graphics here, the interior cockpit graphics. They're all 3D and again you really feel like you're inside one of these great big monstrosities it's fantastic titans frequently dash to avoid threats in combat move down the hallway while avoiding the rockets all right so we're gonna have to dash to the left or right success To defend against ranged threats, Titans can be equipped with the Vortex Shield. This weapon absorbs incoming ballistics for a limited time, then refires them. This thing is awesome. I'm holding Q. It's doing a Matrix Neo thing here, basically. Let go. Bang. Well now, also, you can melee in these things. See? And that is because you can also grab enemy pilots out of their mechs, out of their titans. It's amazing. And shift sprints in a titan as well. Skilled pilots often disembark from their titans on the battlefield. To continue, disembark from your titan. Head into the control room to open the gate for your titan. 
Now this is a really important part of the game and that is if you get out of your Titan it's in Auto Titan mode and you can see it says Sambo NZ Auto Titan and down on the bottom right down there you can see V and Head an into the icon. Control room to open the gate for your Titan. Thank you. You can basically switch between follow or stay and they will do a whole bunch of fighting on your behalf and you can just get back in later. It's fantastic. Love it. All right, let's hack this terminal with our hacky hack knife. Pilots can control their Titan's AI when they are on foot. The AI can be toggled to follow you or guard its current location. The lower right corner of your pilot HUD displays your Titan's current AI mode. Put your Titan into follow mode and it will follow you through the gate. So we just press V. Engaging follow mode. When your Titan is in follow mode, it will try to stay close to your position. Get close to your Titan and re-embark. G'day mate. Let's see if we can come at it from a different angle. There we go, in through the top. How cool is to that? Continue, pilot your Titan to the exit. Oh, we got guns now. I like it. Such a cool reload animation too. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable, which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the rocket salvo. Try firing your rocket salvo now. So that's F. Be sure to deploy offhand weapons Nasty. to maximize your firepower in combat. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. All right, here comes an enemy Titan. Let's do a bit of F as well. Trying to strafe out of the way. Each Titan has a shield that deflects incoming damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in combat, taking breaks to recharge as necessary. Wave survived. Prepare for the next wave. And of course, when there are actual pilots in them, Next that wave incoming. Enemy titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. We'll literally rip them from the chassis, which is awesome. So let's go up there and see if we can do that. Status is located at the top center of your HUD. Notice that when your health bar goes down, it will not replenish. Once your health bar is depleted. Your Titan is doomed to die shortly. Ooh, there she blows. Prepare for the next wave. Next wave incoming. Enemy Titan shields online. Use caution. Now you can be killed if you are underneath a Titan drop, by the way, so be very, very careful. Let's see if we can get in there this time and actually do a melee. No, because there's no pilot in there. Oh, nasty. Go, go, go. Really got to manage the strafing. Combat veterans refer to this as doomed state. Your Titan will inevitably self-destruct once it is doomed. In this simulation, you will have infinite time to eject. This will not be the case in actual combat. You yeah, must so that, eject before your Titan goes critical. So that bar, you can see it happening to the enemy Titan there. That's what was happening to me and I needed to eject very, very quickly. But because we're in a sim, it's just sitting there on critical. So what you do is you hit E three times and this will launch us up into the sky. To continue, 
please eject from your Titan. Plus, depending on the perk you've got equipped, it may make your Titan go nuclear, and of course that is going to do a splash damage in a large area to all enemies. Here we go, E E E. To continue, eject. please eject from your Titan. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. No falling Excellent. damage because your we've got a jetpack. Combat certification is complete. Jetpack stops us from breaking our legs, basically, or whatever it's called, the jump booster, rocket booster, call it what you will. For your safety, please stay in the training pod to regain your equilibrium. And there we go, folks. That is it. That is the training. Like I said, I found that fantastic. Violets, this is your stop. You've got 10 minutes to collect your gear and get off my boat. So there you go, like I said, that was the training. I found that really, really cool when I first started playing this game. Hope you enjoyed that because it just gives you that little overview into the game if you haven't decided whether or not you want to take the plunge of the, what is it, about a 12 gigabyte download, I think. So look, that's it for this video. What I'll do is before the beta closes, we'll record another one of me and maybe Tallahassee if we can rope him into it, running around getting our rears handed to us on a very shiny plate because I'm pretty hopeless at this game but the real life scenarios of running around in these maps and actually playing the game against some really skilled players is highly highly rewarding like I say once you get these jump moves down and you figure out how to get around the map really really quickly it is super satisfying and trust me the action never lets up in this game it is just full on and I'm absolutely loving it can't wait I'm pumped for the full release can't wait to see all of the other maps as well in the meantime folks of course if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below thank you very much for watching this it's great to be back and don't worry you'll be seeing more a lot more of me as we get back into our regular shows as i come off my nice long holiday and thank you for allowing me to have that but as always i hope you're having a great week wherever you are in the world i do look forward to seeing you next time we will see you then and bye bye